Hi, this is Shannon with Florabella Collection and in this video I'll be showing how I edited this photo using Black and White Raven from the Florabella Deluxe Black and White Actions and a subtle texture from Texture Set 4. Now what's surprising about this image is the before. Nothing really special about it, but I captured some emotion here. It was really just a snapshot outside by the pool. She was wearing her bathing suit. She had tied a little scarf in her hair. She had found a snail, her first snail, and was so excited, but then she lost it, and she was disappointed in this photo. So um, I snapped this image and wasn't real happy with it in color, wasn't really going to do anything about it. But I loved her expression and the mood, so I decided to go for the black and white. And I really love how the black and white turned out. So one of my favorite actions is black and white Raven. Again, it's in the deluxe black and white action set. It's a very dark and moody action with some options that will help you achieve that moody edit. And, you know, some might just like it like this, but I wanted to add a little more contrast and wanted to illuminate her face a little bit more. Um, this action comes with a dodge and burn layer that you can paint in to brighten, selectively brighten or darken, and, as well as the, the base black and white raven action. Um, so the first thing I'm going to experiment with here is I'm just going to click the brighten up layer and that makes it a little bit too bright for me, um, especially all around here I kind of really wanted just to put the focus on her face. So first thing I'm going to do though is lower the opacity Mm, let's bring it to about um, 60. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient in inside this layer mask. So I'm going to click on the layer mask. I'm going to click on my gradient tool here. Okay, gradient tool. I have black and white and I've selected the second icon up here. It's a little circle so I can tell that my gradient is going to be radial. It's going to be round. Now I want, I don't want the black, it's a black to white gradient, I don't want the black to be in the center. I want the black to be around the edges because I want to mask out the brighten layer from this image. So I'm going to click reverse and then it will go from white to black. Okay, and that's perfect. Bring it up just a little bit, brighten it up just a little bit. Now just going to experiment here. The lighten is clicked off. The darken layer is fine. Now here's my dodge layer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool and make sure that white is in my foreground. And I'm going to paint where I want to illuminate. You see how that just kind of highlights the ruffles in her bathing suit. I want to highlight her scarf. Maybe her hair a little bit. Oops, it's a bit too much. Just going to undo that. And you can also mess with the opacity of your brush. I have my brush at about 32. I'm just kind of painting. Let me go ahead and illuminate these strands just for some drama here in her hair. I really want to illuminate these ruffles on this side. The light source was from kind of in front to the left of her. I'm going to brush wherever I want to highlight and already that's looking pretty good. And for a little extra mood I can go down to the darken layer and just grab that up to maybe about 20 or so. Okay, and I like it like that. Um, now I'm just going to add some texture. I'm going to go to my texture set 4 and in this particular case I'm using a texture called pewter. I'm just going to grab pewter and drag it over. When you drag a photo on top of your image, first thing you're going to do is resize. And now you'll see that you only see your texture and that's because it's laying on top of your image. You need to change the blending mode. I'm going to change my blending mode to soft light. And right there already, that adds a bit more drama. It's hard to tell on the video, but it adds some fine texture, almost a little bit like film grain. But I kind of want to 
wipe the texture and not really the pewter tone but the texture off of this image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click alt on a PC or option on a Mac and click the eyeball on Peter just so I can show the texture and I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool and just sample right around where her face was sample the color so I have it in my foreground click alt or option on a Mac again and click the eyeball and that will bring back the rest of the layers and I'm just going to paint right here with my paintbrush um, at about, I don't know, 85 or so. And with a soft brush. And I'm just going to paint over her face a little bit, just so there's not too much grit on her face and her neck. And I love the way that turned out. Um, the pewter is on 100% on soft light. I brought my Brighten Up layer to 62% and added a gradient inside the layer mask. I used my Dodge tool and I can brighten that up and make those highlights even brighter. That's without the highlights. That's with the highlights. And again, I just raised my darken level and you can play with that if you want it even moodier or if you want it brighter. I like it at about 20% on this image. The only other thing I might do is come back up here to my Dodge layer with a very low opacity brush and painting with white again to reveal, I might just illuminate her face just a little bit more, her face, maybe her arms, just to brighten up her skin a bit, especially that left side. So here we have our before and our after. And just for demonstration purposes, this would be just the image desaturated to black and white. And again, there's our final product. Florabella Actions and Textures can be found at florabellacollection.com. Thanks for watching.